Good morning everyone. So you may be wondering why uh, there was no update uh, yesterday. Well here's why. So guys, it's day two and um, we didn't realise how bad this fog was. I've been my flight. Um, there are a few others that are going to attempt to go to the specified launch site. But you can't even see the people in front of you. There are people um, just in front of you in that screen there. And yeah, and also I'm not prepared to put the crew at risk and myself at risk because if you drive too fast in this, Qatar actually finds drivers very harshly. So it's not worth the risk. I'm, I'm shutting the flight down. Me and Mike agree. So on to the next one. So as you can see from that, there was a lot of fog um, in the area and me and Mike decided to uh, bin the flight uh, on the launch field. Um, unfortunately, um, we did make the decision to go down to the launch field, um, but we got there and said, nah, this is just not worth it. But anyway, today we're all, uh, the conditions are great. Vodafone is st uh, stood upright and we've got to stick to her like glue today because it's going to be like threading the uh, threading the eye of a needle today. Very small margin for error on this one. So, see what we how we do on this one. So we're all rigged and ready to go. Going to start hot inflating in a minute. Vodafone's nicely stood up. Still a little bit of time to go. Let's see where we end up. Might end up at the same place as uh, as the last flight, but we'll see. Shad's all stood up and waiting. Got David Tofton beside us. Vodafone is still on the ground. Fusion's only just starting to hot inflate. And I think 92% of us are ready to go now and we're just waiting for the word from Lee. And as soon as Vodafone launches, we'll find out what direction she's getting. There she goes, getting ready to go, she's getting light. Terrific morning. But as I say, we're going to have to be very astute on this one. We're going to be threading the eye through the needle, or threading the, threading the thread through the eye of the needle with this one so we've got to stay close to Vodafone because Vodafone is going to show us the direction to stay away from so after a bit of a hairy launch we're in the air and we're chasing <laughs> chasing down the Vodafone balloon which is I believe just behind David Tofton oh no there she is just above <laughs> so the objective is to stay low today and try and get to where we landed the other day again similar speeds to uh, Wednesday about four mile an hour so it's going to take a while to get to the safe area but very nice uh, oh and you can just see Bobby's airship there just there maybe she will come past us in about 20 minutes or so because she will get to the place where we landed with no problem or thereabouts anyway <laughs> Absolutely stunning morning, and we got up before the sunrise. <laughs> Just nicely following the pack now. We're clear above. Yep, yep we are clear above. <clears throat> Oh, 
And once again, we're being stalked by a bird balloon. <laughs> And I apologise if my voice still sounds a little croaky. I've still not recovered from my throat infection. So we're just going to concentrate now on the flying. Because as I say, there's very small marginal uh, room for error. stay in a certain band of wind in order to get to the safe zone. So we'll catch you in a bit guys. Never been this close to a balloon before. Almost kissing. <clears throat> so yeah we're just uh, we're just tugging this direction for as long as we can. Just going nicely, probably almost the true direction that we went on. And we're being followed by, I think it's Bobo. Yeah. Bobo the lobster. Oh, the Hi Bobo. The sun's on the horizon now. Right. It's mesmerizing just watching them all go different heights and get in different directions. Beautiful being here, Qatar. And there is the sunrise. How lovely. Actually, I think we're going slightly faster than uh, we did on uh, yeah, we are. on Wednesday. We are. Yeah, so we'll get to the safe zone a little bit quicker. That's relieving. <laughs> Down by a wolf. Yeah. Where's the wolf? He's on his way. Just keeping my eye on this racer here. So as before, the balloon below has a uh, right of way. Therefore, if there was a balloon above him, he would have to climb. And we have Ian Sharp here. I have right of way. But yeah, fantastic morning. Just keeping, keeping a close eye on the direction. This is a good, nice direction. Oh, and we've got Bobo getting in closer to us. So we're being chased by a bird and a lobster. Now where else can you say that you've been chasing the sky from? Oh, and the alien as well. Sun getting brighter now. Very, very nice. I love Sport City. It's the easiest place to fly from in Qatar. If you didn't get stuck in the desert for seven hours, then maybe the desert would be the easiest place to fly from. But we shall see what will happen with that because it looks like we'll be doing that sometime next week. I haven't made my decision on whether or not I'm going to do that one yet, but we shall see. I think Bobo's going to catch us up. No, my fault. Them lower than us, and they catch it. It might be because of the uh, protrusions on the side. Sails. Yeah, yeah, sails. Whatever. Basically. That's <laughs> what it has. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're kissing. They are actually kissing. Awesome. <laughs> Right at the same height as well, look at that. Yeah. That is unified pirouetting, that is. 
Look at that, you couldn't get any better than that. Yeah, you definitely couldn't get any better than that. That is clever. You couldn't, you couldn't rehearse that if you tried. So we're now approaching the safe zone. And we're probably going to be looking to land probably in the next 10 minutes, I'd say. If we can. Or we might fly on. We are way, way in the safe zone at the moment. As Vodafone is over there. And the Qatar balloon is even further over that way. So they're obviously happy to be that far out. But yeah, absolutely brilliant. I love flying in Qatar. Quick shout out to my colleagues at uh, Scottsdale's Great Shelford. Um, it is a Sunday today. It would be a day that I would usually be working. Missing you guys like crazy. Um, and I just wanted to say a big, big shout out to Tracy Cornell um, for allowing me to do Qatar, not just once, but twice this year. Especially, um, especially when the uh, first one was done with just five days notice um, back in January um, and this one was done at peak Christmas um, when they will be needing trolleys being brought in from the car park and I'm missing you guys so so much and just really really appreciate you all um, for letting me do this. Um, hope you guys are okay and uh, big up for Scottsdale's. Hi Bobo. Still being hunted down by a lobster, a bird and an alien just as just above. Oh, and a wolf in the middle there. And there's Multana, my old balloon. We're just gonna be clearing this area and then we're going to come down and we're going to see what we can get down below who knows we might get the cricket field again that would be a real achievement if we did that those two pasha balloons just can't get enough of each other they've been touching each other for the last 20 minutes We're nicely clear here, there's no one above us. Not below us right? And no one below us either, no, no, so. There is below. Oh, there is? Oh, out oh, right, on your side. Yeah. Where's that? Oh, oh it's Mr. <laughs> and we're catching up to David Tofton as well, of all people. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely fantastic morning. As I said, I love Sport City. And the sky is much, the horizon is much, much clearer today, which is quite a surprise. Before, you couldn't see um, the car park that we launched from when we got to this point. It was so hazy. Yeah, we're gonna fly for a bit longer and uh, find somewhere to land in a bit. There are some really friendly skies this morning, guys. The two Annex balloons, and um, by the way, there are four Annex balloons flying in Qatar uh, during this fiesta. The duck and the uh, special art balloon are actually touching and kissing. There's one for you, and uh, there's you. There's one for Brian and. <laughs> There's one for Brian and Linda. Brian helped uh, design uh, not just the... Uh, Brian helped design not just the Gore template, but the uh, CAD uh, design 
for basically all the annex balloons here. He even designed David Tofton's balloon. So we have a lot to be thankful for Brian Mead at the annex balloon movement. Now the aliens over there somehow managed to shift. Bird balloons over here. And Bobo has managed to go quite far to the left of us. So it just goes to show how quickly things can change when flying these things in different winds. How about that guys? Bobby has chased us down in his airship. First time flying for this airship in Qatar. And luckily for him, he's able to steer that thing. And he is apparently looking for the place where we landed just the other day. Nicely done, Bobby. Mm. It may look close, but it's not actually that close. Nicely done, Bobby. On down. Airships are quite a rare sight in the skies now. There's not many left in the world, especially thermal airships, which is what this one is. I've done lots of videos about this one, um, lots of crewing videos about her. Um, one very special one was we actually managed to get her to fly to Cardington Sheds, which is where the famous R100 and the R101 were housed. They weren't built there. A number of times that I've said that, they were actually uh, built in a place in York. I can't remember the name of it, unfortunately. But they were housed in Cardington Sheds. So there's a bit of airship history for you. It's been flying for around 40 minutes. And we're hopefully going to get this little patch of ground here where these, uh, where the Remax and that red balloon and that racer is. Others are following. The alien is still chasing us down. Blue one's clear out, gloves. Okay, cool, Mike. Excellent control. Right, I'm going to sign off because we need to concentrate here. This is going to be quite a tricky one because the racer is still stood up. We may have to... Catch in a bit. Change of plan, guys. We had to abort that one because someone uh, landed but then took off and bumped us. So now we're going to be aiming for this one here, right in the corner over there. So catch in a bit, guys. Guys, we're just going to land here. Hopefully we don't hit a ridge. <laughs> I'm not aiming for any. <laughs> and we're going to land just beside this road as well, so that's nice access for our crew. Go on, Mike, bring her home. Bring her home. Excellent control. Well done. Nice short little burst. Like it. So I don't think you need any more now, Mike. Just let her no, get cool naturally and she'll come down. Hopefully this won't be too rough or bumpy. Mind you, we're heading straight for that ridge. It's fine. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, go for it, Mike. Pipe light off. Done it. Beautiful. Oh. 
on the stones. How about that? Yeah. Right, we're going to pull her down, I think. Oh, yeah. Stand up landing, buddy. Stand yeah. There you go. Nice one. Well done, Mike. And Multana's going to follow us in as well, it looks like. <laughs>